How's it going guys, Ilyftinan here and welcome to the 94 rated theme of the season Lukaku play review. When he first joined United last summer there was a lot of talks going around who would score the most number of goals by the end of the season whether it would be him, Morata or Lacazette. Lacazette hasn't been really good, Morata was decent at the start, no one really expected Lukaku to be as good you know in Premier League because obviously Mourinho's style of you know playing football is a bit hard and to adjust in it you do need to be you know very defensive and so you know this guy i think he's been insane he scored around 27 goals in the first 50 games for united i think that's very decent considering that his first season which you know landed him this theme of the season and it does look insane 92 pace 90 dribbling 94 shooting 80 and passing and 95 physical insane physical you know also his weak foot is very great with four stars skill moves not you know not really as good three stars but we do know that he's more of a target striker more of a direct type of player and then he's got himself decent work with, with medium medium looking further into the car it does look very very good you know when it comes to almost all of his stats starting off with his pace great sprint speed 98th that's insane acceleration is a bit low but obviously if you want to boost it you can put a hockey side on him shooting very great with 96 positioning 98 finishing 97 pot shot power long shots aren't that great 82 but around the box he was still expecting to score passing is also very very nice you know with 90 vision 90 short passing, 91 curves, so a lot of finish shots with Landon. Dribbling, when you look at his agility and balance, you do get a bit disappointed. And obviously, they're not as great. But when you look at his reactions and composure, it's just out of this world. 99 composure, making him... I, I, you know, it would be insane in the box, because that composure is insane. Dribbling is also very great with 93, and ball control is very nice with 91 as well. You know, it would cover a lot for the agility. Heading accuracy with jumping is also very great, so you do expect to win a lot of... You know, headers, stamina nice, strength 99 with 81 aggression. Strength would be also very, very great. And if you start off by talking about his price, I do believe that he's going for very, very cheap. 700,000 coins for one of the best strikers in the game. You know, not only in Premier League, you know, in whole of FIFA 18, obviously. And uh, with the stats that he possesses, 700,000 coins, I think, is a lot cheaper. In my opinion, he should be been worth around at least 900,000 coins because... You know, he's a complete striker. Not does not only can he, you know, play as a target striker, but he can also play as a as a, as a forward that drifts behind the defenders because of the upgrade pace that he's got on him. But in my opinion, I had really fun with him. You know, he was great for me. As you can see from the goals I was able to score, I did try to win a lot of headers with him because, you know, I did want to see how great on, he is when it comes to his aerial ability. And he was insane. You know, I was just, one of the match, I was just, Playing him all, you know, like long balls to be able to win the headers, and he was winning all the balls for me. Whether it was free kick, whether it was corner, whether it was just, you know, passing him long balls. So that was very nice to see. So talking about his positives, everything about this card is almost positives, you know. So I think it's better to talk about his negatives first. As you guys can see, for me, it was only agility and balance, which we saw from his in-game stats. You know, they're not the best. 75 agility, 57 balance. But like I said, ball control 91, composure 99, and so that, you know, those stats definitely make it up for him because. Not only is he very composed, you know, he's got himself very great ball control. So, you know, it does, it does keep it very close to him, as you can see from that goal there as well. And uh, talking about his positives, great, you know, a great overall card. Finishing, strength, position, and composure were the one that stood out the most for me. But if I talk about his pace, uh, specifically, I think that was great as well. Because I've used his base card a lot in the South, you know, FIFA 18. And I do think that he was very bad paced, obviously, because he's not the paciest. On his base cards, so, you know, it was you could you couldn't use him as a as a complete striker, but with this card right here, you can use him as a complete striker. Like I said, not only as a target striker, but you can also use him as a guy who can get in behind, you know, make assists like he was making for me, and that felt great. And so, a very very cheap card for I believe around seven hundred thousand coins. And the cards I think are quite similar: Shevchenko and Harry Kane. All of them, you know, very very they all are great when it comes to the shooting on a whole, their positioning, their finishing, and also you know their passing and the the amount of goal that they can score for you. So that's great. But if I had to choose one, I would definitely go for Lukaku. But that was it for this review, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one.